This is an NBC News special report. Here's Lester Holt. Good morning, everyone. We're coming on the air with breaking news in the Middle East, where we just learned an agreement has been reached to extend the temporary ceasefire between Israel and Hamas for two days. This news comes as we wait for a fourth group of hostages that is expected to be released today. The extension also comes just hours before the truce was supposed to expire at 5 p.m. Eastern time. I want to go right now to NBC's Richard Engel. Richard, a lot we don't know here. Tell us what we what we do know at this point. So, Lester, today is day four of an agreed upon four day truce. And every day since Friday, these uh, the Israelis have been releasing uh, Palestinian prisoners in exchange for Hamas releasing hostages, women and children on both sides. And that deal was exposed to expire. It is being brokered by Qatar and Egypt with a lot of support from the United States. And just a short while ago, Hamas made an announcement, also uh, an Egyptian official and a Qatari official, all saying that they had agreed to two more days. So that could potentially allow Hamas to free more uh, hostages who are currently held in Gaza. They still have more women and children to free and allow the Israelis to, uh, to release more. Uh, Palestinian prisoners, also women and minors. The, the larger picture is that this is a sign of progress. It shows that this four-day truce, and, and the idea was once it ended, the, the, the uh, hostilities would resume immediately, and that Israel's uh, offensive would, would immediately uh, resume. Now, uh, it does seem that this four-day truce, which, could, which seems to be coming a six-day truce, uh, that, that is uh, the most encouraging sign, or among the most encouraging signs we've seen since this conflict began. Yeah, Richard, do we know what the holdup is, though, with the releases today, the part of the original agreement, the truce agreement? Every day, uh, there has been negotiations going right down to the wire because uh, a list will be put out. Uh, there will be disagreements on the list. Uh, the Israelis are, are accusing Hamas uh, justifiably of releasing uh, some people, separating families, not releasing the people they had agreed upon. Uh, so there are a lot of, uh, of terms and, 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 and names that are being disputed and the modalities of how these people are supposed to be transported. Uh, one time they were transported out of, generally they've been transported out of Egypt. One time because one of the hostages was sick, they went straight from Gaza to Israel. Uh, it is still early enough, so it is uh, in the day, so it is possible we could still see uh, by before the end of tonight, an, another release of prisoners has had been expected. So uh, it is not guaranteed that today there will not be a, another release. But the fact that the, the, the two sides, according to Hamas and two Arab diplomats, have agreed to a two-day extension does take off some of the pressure if we don't see uh, the, a release in the next several hours or if the release is not uh, as, as satisfactory to the two sides as it, as it could have been. All right, Richard, I'll ask you to stand by. Let me go to NBC News White House correspondent Monica Alba. What is the read right now from the White House, Monica? Well, Lester, I can tell you a White House official confirms that this agreement has been reached to extend the truce between Israel and Hamas by at least these two days. This is something that the Biden administration had been working on actively with the president making calls all weekend long. We know he spoke with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu yesterday, and they specifically discussed this possibility with the U.S. pushing for this extension with the hopes of getting more hostages released. Of course, that first American, the dual Israeli-American citizen released yesterday, that four-year-old girl, Abigail Adan, who turned four in captivity on Friday after her parents were murdered by Hamas and she was taken hostage for 50 days before being released yesterday back to some of her family members in Israel. That is the first American to be released and returned. It is unclear whether there will be more Americans released on a potential list today. That is something the White House is still tracking very closely, monitoring to see if it will be possible. But now, given this extension, they will likely also point to the fact that that could now happen tomorrow or in the coming days. But they have talked 
talked about this in such a fluid and active manner. They don't want to get ahead of any of these very fragile negotiations because they don't want to derail anything because the slightest hiccup can do that before getting back on track. But the president said very clearly yesterday that he will not rest until all of the hostages can be released, including, again, something like nine more Americans potentially. But there are questions, Lester, about whether all of those Americans are being held by Hamas or potentially by other groups and how that could work to release them. But we know behind the scenes here, White House officials have been a very active part of the negotiations. They continue really hour by hour to be a part of these discussions to see how long this extension can go. The U.S. hope is that it can continue beyond the two days, but they really have told me they're going to take this one day at a time. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.